Hey guys, so excuse the quality and the angle of this video. I'm gonna do it very soon before I go to work. So this is gonna be a what's in my nursing bag as a prison nurse or a correctional nurse. I work in a prison and I think they say jails are more lenient. I don't know. No, I think they say jails. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, I'm a prison nurse. So yeah, um, you can't bring a lot of stuff. You can't bring sharp stuff. You can bring a pen. You can bring a pen and stuff like that. They say you're not supposed to, but I mean, what you gonna write with? So I'm just gonna show you everything I got in here. So this is my lunch, or it's just some um, beef and roni. But you have to put it in like a see-through thing. If you bring anything, any type of food that's not in a see-through thing, they'll open it and go through it. I don't want everybody touching my food, so I just do right. The next thing in here, I just have some backup masks. I was on, they sent me to another floor the other day and the nurses down there was not wearing a mask and that's just very irresponsible. Everybody hasn't gotten Corona. So uh, it would be nice if y'all put your mask on. But anyways, um, when I saw that, I usually keep about backup masks, like an N95, K95, and a surgical mask. I don't never wear a surgical mask alone, but I do put it on top of one of these. So, yeah, I always have backup masks. Okay, what's in here? Like I said, you have to put stuff in see-through things. So I got my honey bun to snack on before it's time for me to go lunch and a fork. Next thing I have is my water. You can't bring any unopened bottles of water. I mean, I don't think, I mean, how can they tell if it's unopened now unless they twist the top, but I bring open stuff in there all the time. If I had a Gatorade the day before and I ain't drink it, I'll bring it back in. It just depends on who at the front, that who cares. Next thing I got is my, um, Everything has to be travel size. So this is my travel size hand lotion because my hands do get dry up in there. Right there. And then in here, I just have um, my hand sanitizer, travel size. Everything has to be travel size. A pen and a pencil. I had a marker, I think one of them stole it or something. I don't know either or I lost it. And the last thing I have in my bag is my stethoscope. So yeah, um, that's about it. I usually don't put all the stuff in my bag. I usually go get me some food, but that's been kind of costly. And so I just brought me some today. The thing is, I don't want to be taking my mask off in there. Then everybody be touching that microwave. But I guess it's no different than going out to eat. So. Yeah, and that's what I got for today. And um, that's all I got for today. Um, let me, if you got some video ideas, comment. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But like, comment, and subscribe. Comment some other video ideas. And yeah. And that's it. Um, what y'all want to see? I was going to do another day in my life. Or like, what correctional nurses do. On evening shift and stuff like that. Or day shift. I've worked them all. Y'all want to know that. Because I did do a day in my life. But I was fairly new. But now I'm on my own. So I can tell you some stuff. Oh, and your work bag has to be clear. Mm, I don't want to open it. Yeah, I ain't need to turn it on. <laughs> and your work bag has to be clear. You can't come in with a like a, a regular bag that you can't see through because they're going to tell you what the fuck are you doing. And take that bag right back outside. So, yeah. I'm here now. I've got about five more minutes before I start walking in. It's not a bad job. I actually like it, but I like it better if I could have my phone. Like, it's so easy. So I was thinking about...